when people ask me why I came to Denmark, I always say, I'm just here for the weather. And they usually laugh because, you know, most people in Denmark kind of hate the weather in general. But I think there are four things that are seriously underrated about the beautiful Danish summer. The first thing that I love about it is the amount of light. This was interesting and strange for us who, you know, we come from a lower latitude. We knew that the, the winters are quite long and dark and gloomy. But the trade-off of that is that the summers are actually very, very bright. And the, the highest point of summer, the sun comes up at 4 and doesn't set until 11. And even when it sets and the sun goes like down, it doesn't become fully dark. Like there's always, for two months in the year, you can always see some light over the horizon. And it's quite surreal experience that the sun doesn't set on the west, it actually sets on the north. So for whole two whole months, you don't you don't usually stay awake for long enough to see actual um, night, which is really really interesting and really really a fun experience. You can spend most of the su of the summer outside and, and enjoying life and and doing this in some kind of life, which is just great. The second thing is how easy they take it. It's quite usual for Danes to take three weeks of vacation and take that in like second half of July or first half of August. Um, and even at the, the workplaces, like the employers, they don't make a huge thing about it. It's accepted that you will not be available for three weeks. It's okay for companies to just shut down for three weeks because that's when you take the time to recharge and have the vacations of, uh, of your life. Also, a lot of people leave Denmark, like they go to Spain or, or places like that. So it's actually quite normal for bakeries and, and shops like that to close down for two weeks. And for those two or three weeks, that's like second half of July, the whole country uh, goes quiet. A lot of people leave, there's very little traffic. Driving is very easy. Uh, there's no crowds anywhere. It's not noisy. It's very easy. And it's, it's great that you have the opportunity to take a breather and just uh, just relax. The next thing I love is the temperatures. When we say summer in Denmark, we should, the, the, the top temperature in a summer day is around, let's say, 21, 22 to 25. That's, that's our summer. I would call it spring in other places. And that's great because it's warm enough to wear a t-shirt and, and just wander around outside with no, no problems. It's also warm enough to go into the beach and, and take a dip in the water because the sun is quite strong. So if you sit on the sun, you actually warm up and then you can go into the water and, and, and can cool down. And you can come out again, get warmed up again, and then go into the water to cool down. So you still have this kind of beach experience, but, uh, but it's not warm enough so that you're sweating all the time. If you stay in the shade, then you're not sweating. It's like a very comfortable experience. It's not like in a lot of, a lot of countries where there's really serious heat waves and people are, uh, are dreading it. Uh, here it's much, much more uh, comfortable and it's really a nice, uh, nice experience. By the way, if you like this content, please give me a like. It's going to help me get to other people that are also interested in this kind of content. Thank you. And the last thing I enjoy is, it may be a little bit personal, but I really enjoy how green the country stays. Even when there is heat waves, it doesn't dry out the grass. In many countries, and the top of summer, in the heat of the summer, all the grass just goes burnt. Here it's not. Everything stays green. All the forests, all the all the grass and all the all the plants are green and, and lush and and it's really a great thing to look at. So these are the four things that I love about the Danish summer. If I miss some and you think should be in the video, please put them in the comments. I'm going to read all of them. Thank you for joining. My name is Gustav and I'll see you in the next one. So, babe.